Hello, hello, hello. How are you tonight? We are going to talk about the do's and the do nots of Messenger, okay? So if you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica Hamas and I am a beauty influencer here on Facebook. I inspire, empower others to live their very best life while staying true and authentic to themselves and not caring what other people think. So if that resonates with you and you have not currently sent me a friend request, you have not been following the page or you haven't even turned on live notifications, you definitely want to be doing that. Okay, so today is Tuesday. So coaching session with me of do's and do nots on Messenger. I think this is really, really important for business, okay, people that are building connections with other people. And this is, these are some great tips that I have learned along the way. And I wanted to share them with you tonight. Okay, do not, okay, do not go into somebody's door. Don't, don't go into their DMs and spam them, okay? No spamming, okay? Um, this has happened so much, and it's actually given a very bad rap, a very bad name to a profession, yes, being a network marketer, being in direct sales, being a social seller. It is a profession, okay? It is a professional career to be here and to be sharing your thoughts, sharing your knowledge with other people, okay? So don't be sliding into somebody's direct message and spamming them. And above all, don't be word vomiting, okay? If somebody does not, if somebody glanced down at their messenger, you know, they see a, they see a message, they glance down. If they cannot glance down and see exactly what it is that you wrote right away, then it's too long. Okay. Think of it as a busy mom. A lot of us are busy moms. We have kids that, you know, imagine a mom with a toddler running around and she glances down at her phone. If she's not able to, when she glances down to be able to read that while chasing her toddler, then you have word vomited. It is too long, okay? So don't be word vomiting, okay? Oh, for the love of God, stop copying and pasting other people. You know, I'll be honest. I've been there. I've done it. I've learned, <laughs> okay? I have been there, done it, and I have learned. And what is the best way when we learn something is to teach it. So stop copying and pasting, okay? Because I can tell you right now, people can see right through it when you copy and paste something and send it to them. And most likely, you'll probably use the wrong name because if you're using their name in the message, you'll probably put a different name. Hey, Susie, when it's Jill, okay? So stop that, okay? Don't send, oh my goodness, I can't stand this when it happens. Do not send your link in the very first message of talking to somebody, okay? That is really cold messaging, and you should not, should not be doing that. You build connections. You get to know people. You find out what it is that they need in order to help them, okay? Because what you have may not be the best fit for them. Yes, I said it, okay? Um... No scripts, okay? Stopped with the scripts. Stop with the scripts. And the reason why is because people can tell that it's not you speaking, okay? When you use a script, they can tell that it is somebody else and you are not being authentic and you are not being genuine to yourself in sharing you, okay? So when you're using scripts, if you, if it is not in your voice, people will know, okay? People will know. And the last, do not, don't sound desperate, okay? <laughs> do not sound desperate. It just doesn't have a good look on you, plain and simple. There, it has no good look on you whatsoever, so don't be separate or don't, don't be desperate, okay? So for some of the do's, and messenger, okay? Use the voice message feature. Use the voice message feature, you know, and I'm at fault with this a lot of times. I won't. I'll text, you know, texting somebody and not using the voice feature as much. 
But I'm telling you that when you use the voice feature and you voice message somebody, number one, they get to know you so much better. They get to like you and they get to trust you. Okay, because you are showing yourself to them. You are showing your authenticity. All your, mm, um, yeah, so, you know, they get to hear how you speak. They get to know your personality, how you are. There's a lot that people can gain from your voice, whereas if you're just texting something to them, it can be perceived as cold. It can be perceived as warm. Emojis help when you're using script or when you're, you know, not script, but when you are texting, okay? But it's harder to really gauge somebody how they're feeling or their personality through just text. So use the voice message feature. Say their name. You know, when I get a message in, in my in my inbox, it says, hey, girl, blah, 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 blah. You know, that does not always sound good with me. Now, I will be honest. I don't always use a person's name. I need to get more in the habit of using a person's name. A lot of times, if I know you and I know you well, I will say, hey, love, how are you doing? You know, I saw you went on a vacation. How was your vacation? You know, there are specific people that I will say, hey, love, to, And people know People know that's one of my phrases that I say all the time, okay? So get used to actually addressing somebody by their name, okay? It, number one, tells them that you actually care about them, okay? That they are just not a number and that you are genuinely wanting to build a connection and build a relationship and get to know them and become friends, okay? Um, sound human. Do not sound like a robot. Sound like you are freaking human, okay? Because that's exactly what you are. <laughs> um, type like you talk. This is something that I love doing. Um, if I'm going to send something to somebody in Messenger and it's via text, a lot of times I will press that little microphone button and I will just start speaking and let it pick up my own words. And that's what I mean by type like you talk. A lot of times you can just do, do that. And it's, and it's really amazing because then the other person on the other end can actually hear you actually talk, talking and actually saying those things because it's in a way that you actually speak. So I love using that little feature um, instead of texting, just pressing that little microphone and it picks up what it is that I'm actually saying, you know, and puts it into text form. I love that feature. Um, do keep conversations. Keep it conversational, okay? Build relationships. That's where the magic is, is in Messenger, okay? It is in Messenger. Build the connections, build the relationships, okay? Help keep the conversation going. It's a great way for you to be able to follow up with people. Okay, I love using Messenger. When I see that somebody loves or they like a story of mine, I, I pop in their Messenger and just say, hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much for liking or loving my story today. I hope your day is going really well. I appreciate you. That goes a very long way because it shows somebody that you're not there to sell to them because I'm not there to sell to them. I am there to build a relationship and it's building a connection and it shows them that you see them, that they are important to you and that you are appreciative, okay? So those are my do's and those are my don'ts for popping in Messenger and building connections. Until my next video, stay true to yourself, be authentic, be genuine, show love to others, and of course, be kind. And I will talk to you later. Toodles!